Hey guys, how's it going? Sam here, Giant Pumpkins MZ. I hope your Giant Pumpkins are growing well. We're in the lead up to Christmas and that can be a chaotic time. Make sure you've got something in place to deal with watering. At this time you want to keep an eye out for slugs and snails. I've been battling that. I think it's been snails actually. Ah, uh, slugs or snails, whatever. But I think it's been the slugs and snails here and the plants being eaten a little bit. Now, put down some more bait, seems to have helped. Gotta keep up with that bait, uh, especially after watering, because that makes it a bit less effective. Not sure if I mentioned it ages ago, but the Wi-Fi watering timer that I got from the States, there's a problem with how that works. So what they said was, uh, sorry for the inconvenience, we're gonna send you a sprinkler, that's the word I'm looking for, sprinkler. And uh, I've got that in the mail, so thanks to Malnor for that. Now they've also just come back and said, actually, they've worked out the problem, but they need to quickly do an update on the little brain box thing that controls the Wi-Fi water timer. And uh, they can't do that remotely, so I think it has to be sent back to the States and then come back. So I'm just trying to work that out. I've got miniature pumpkins growing all over the place. I've got some down here. I might need to move them, actually. Uh, they might be in the way. My giant pumpkin, if you read the latest blog post, you would have seen that the vines go in the wrong direction and the plan is to grow to the back of the house and slowly turn the vine and come back the other way. That means there's gonna be vines all over the place, but I think I'm gonna be trimming them on the side and it's gonna be sort of a modified flag layout, maybe. Uh, mill fabric, if you need some, I have it. I have it cut 1.5 by 1.5 meters. Um, check out the website, link will be here or somewhere. And um, the reason it says out of stock on the website is just because I have to work out the shipping to make sure you pay just for the shipping to your location. Or you can pick it up from me here in Hamilton if you're local. Uh, mill fabric is a great base to go underneath your sand. Hopefully you're putting sand under your pumpkins. I think that's about it really. Um, just sort of ticking along here, trying to deal with the tiny pumpkin patch the best I can. Anything else, my producer? No, the producer says no. I think that's all she has on her list. So until next time. Yes, good idea. So to help combat all the snails and bugs and pests, I went to Bunnings. I've got a whole bunch of different products. One of them is Deris Dust, which I have not used. I use snail bait, and then I use the Kiwi Care product, which you spray on the leaves and it helps stop bugs eating your plant. So I use that. Seems to be all working well. I uh, hope you have a great lead up to Christmas and New Year's. Not sure when the next video is coming out, but uh, I'm sure I'll have blog posts still coming out. So make sure to check that out. And if you want to sign up to those, uh, at the bottom there's a little box and you can check that. And uh, you can email update either weekly or monthly with what's been happening on the website. So uh, thanks to everybody that's commented and shared. And I love seeing what you're doing. If you're a grower in the Southern Hemisphere, make sure to check out the Southern Hemisphere Giant Pumpkin Growers Facebook page. Every Sunday we have a check-in and uh, see how everyone's plants are going and eventually we're gonna see how all the pumpkins are going. And uh, you can check out New Zealand record holder Tim. His plant's looking a bit average. I think mine's doing better than his. So that's good. Uh, but until next time, uh, I'm Sam, so thanks for watching.